Well, it is prov uh, proving to be one of the toughest assignments for schools, hiring and recruiting enough teachers to teach our children. And today we're getting a first look at the data from St. Paul Public Schools, where administrators will update the school board tomorrow. Jonah Kaplan reports now on the biggest challenges ahead with only days to go before school starts. Never a big fan of math. That's because I didn't like word problems, but I got one for you today. Minnesota's unemployment rate, 1.8%. That's among the best in the country. But open positions at St. Paul Public Schools, 333. Opening day for students, by the way, the first day of school, September 6th. That's just about two weeks away. So there's your data. Now the problem and the challenge. How to fill these open positions in time, or at least as soon as possible. And among those open positions, 122 of them are for teachers. And that's after the district already hiring 250 new ones this summer. I just want to be the best example that I can be, so I'm nervous about that. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa Levingston is a Central High School grad and owns a popular St. Paul Fitness studio. One of her clients happened to be Central's current principal, who made the pitch for Levingston to teach high school health. I wasn't really thinking about being a teacher at the time. I wasn't working toward being a teacher at the time. It just uh, came into my life. It is the job that makes a huge change. The district needing that message to resonate more. The brand new Office of Recruitment and Retention identifying special ed and English language teachers as the most challenging to fill. The biggest challenge, though, might be overcoming the public's misconception about what it takes to be a teacher. You don't need to be an expert to teach. You need to be someone who is willing to grow, someone who is willing to continue to learn, someone who is willing to work with kids and help kids develop into the wonderful human beings that they're meant to be. The district says there are contingency plans in place with short and long-term subs. Jonah Kaplan, WCCO4 News. The only position in St. Paul that is full is counselors. Early this summer, Minneapolis Public Schools Superintendent also reported more than 300 open positions ahead of the school year.